So Frank Miller, the man who wrote 300, Sin City, and some of the most influential Batman books of all time, is now in trouble with some comic book pros. So here's where this all starts. You have this Comic-Con called Thought Bubble. Takes place on the 8th through the 14th, at least according to that little panel that just popped up. Though at the top it says the 13th through the 14th, so I don't know. I wouldn't go anyway now because of what they did. So this Comic-Con has canceled Frank Miller or Frank Miller stepped down. I think they just canceled Frank Miller from what I understand. They just they told him not to bother showing up. Why? Because some comic book pros that nobody gives a shit about, that nobody cares about, are like, well, we're not going to go if Frank Miller if Frank Miller goes. Even though Frank Miller is at the top of the list here. There's this reason his name is number one right here. Because, honestly, he's the main reason anyone's going to go to see a guest. Now, all these people that are there, they would benefit from him being there because he's going to bring people in. Nobody cares about going to a con to see some of these names at the bottom. Nobody cares because they haven't done anything. The comic book industry is in ruins. And I've went over this enough times. I'm going to go over one of the reasons why it's in ruins right now. So, Mimology posted this. This is a very good example. Uh, it has this picture of this comic book creator that says, I will be withdrawing from Thought Bubble, and I urge other creators to do the same until Frank Miller is pulled from the rosters. Mimology follows up with comic superstars in, in air quotes, or in quotations, that nobody gives a shit about, got Frank Miller canceled, but hey, comics are thriving, lol. Yeah, comics are thriving. <laughs> He's being sarcastic, as I am. But uh, this is a problem in comics. Comic book, The comic book pros are snakes and liars, and they will do anything. See, these, the, the situation is so bad in comics that they think by canceling a legend, they can usurp him. And take his popularity or something. And it doesn't work like that. See, he has talent. You don't. If you did, the comic book industry wouldn't be in shit, would it? What did Frank Miller do to cause all of this outrage? Well, I'm going to show you. Uh, back in 2006, I'm assuming. Oh, it says publication date 2011. But this book ha it took a while for them to get this out or something i don't know but the idea started in 2006 now what happened a few years in 2006 notably 2001 i wonder what happened that would have caused frank miller to write a comic called holy terror and it's about a vigilante who goes and takes on al-qaeda that's it. I haven't read it. Either way, what's wrong with a story like that? Why can't we tell a story like that? You know, these radical groups do exist, so I don't understand the problem. But this is apparently phobic and ist because, well, he's got a guy taking on a radical group. That's it. That's why he's getting canceled. I'm not making this up. This is exactly why he's getting canceled. Uh, for a, a book he wrote over a decade ago. So because of that, and notably, I'd like to point out, he says he regrets writing it. Uh, it does not matter. He is canceled now. So you can go ahead and take that name off the list. Uh, never mind if you had already bought tickets just to go see him, you're probably not going to get refunded either. Here is the statement that got him canceled. By the way, this is from the publishing company Shortbox, a publishing company I've never heard of. But guess what? You've heard of it now because they decided to 
capitalize on Frank Miller's old book to get him canceled and now prop themselves up. That's how this works. And I, and I refuse to believe it's an end. It's any other reason why. Because uh, there's so many talentless people in the comic book industry. And this is what they do. There's so many big names over the years that they've went after and tried to cancel and push down. They believe this is why comic books are a bottom-up industry. Because of shit like this. So Frank Miller canceled from a con that uh, for a book he wrote over a decade ago because somebody got offended from it and called it istophobe. Keep in mind, uh, no one has said anything about the book until now, a a time when uh, the pickings are slim for cons and the money going around for these cons is, is obviously a little bit of slimmer as well. So, hey, let's get rid of this legendary creator. Maybe more people will come to my line. No, no, that's not going to happen. So all of these people down here whining, uh, here's some comic creators throwing them under the bus, a bunch of people that, uh, you know, I'm sure nobody knows who the hell they are. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's, it's a, it's a joke. And what makes this even more BS is the fact that he's already came out and addressed this before, back in 2018. But here's the thing. This is going to be forgotten about. Okay, they're not going to bring this up. They're literally saying it's unsafe to be around Frank Miller. It's unsafe to be around a dude who's like 80-something years old. He's old. I don't know how old exactly he is, but he's up there. Okay? So this man, you know, he's already in an advanced age. But, uh, oh, and he already apologized for making the book back in 2018. This is why it's pointless to apologize, because it's never going to be enough. What more does the man need to do? What more does the man need to do? What does he need to do? What else? Oh, that's right. He needs to lay down in a ditch. Uh, So Charlie's London grabbed this, and this is his quote. Where he says, I kind of feel bad about writing that. Okay. And now to a normal person, that oh, okay, even though I don't think there's anything wrong with writing that story, okay? Why is it okay to only write about one radical group? It wasn't an istophobic thing. That's a real group that that character was going after, and they don't do very nice things, do they? But none of this matters. So all these people throwing them under the bus, uh, I'll, I'll make sure I never buy anything with your guys' names on it ever. Ever. Because that's what really talks. And I'm not the only one. I'm going to go buy an extra copy of some manga today. Just out of spite. It's so, This is so ridiculous. And these cons bending the knee. Don't go to Thought Bubble if you live in that area. Because they're, they're helping with this shit by canceling this man over nothing. Anyway. That's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, There's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double-check on that, and subscribe if you're new.